Visibility is definitely something that the disabled community needs and deserves. We should not be hidden in the background anymore. Identity Theatre Company was founded in 2011. I said, you know, we need more opportunities and more places for people with disabilities to come and to have their talent, not their disability, be on stage. The disabled and the abled, they can be in a show together. They can work in harmony with each other. People will start to be startled at first because we don't like change. We don't like anything we're not familiar with. But once we get used to it, then it becomes quote unquote normal. I was told once cast the right soul for the part and I try to carry that with me. I do have a disability. So you would think I belong in a disabled world or fit into the disabled community, but yet I function so high that people don't think I'm disabled, so they try to put me in the normal world. We feel the need in our society to place people into certain categories so we know how to relate with them and we know what to expect. My quote from the play, which I think sums it up, is we're trapped in this box called identity because it is a trap. I have found the gay community to be extremely judgmental. I have found a lot of men, when they hear I'm disabled, that they can't get past anything else. They can't see me, or they won't see me. They just think the word cripple, and all of a sudden they can't see that I'm a whole person, and disability is just about this much of who I am. It's been hard. It's been really hard. Two thousand and six was an incredibly hard year for me. Thanksgiving Eve, I tried to commit suicide. I ended up in a psychiatric ward, and um, <laughs> while I was in there, I I met who I thought the love of my life is. Two weeks later, after getting released, he moved in with me. I thought this was the man for me. He was addicted to crack, but it was through that that I was introduced to drugs and to that world. At first, I loved it. I loved being a rebel. Three months down the road, um, he got sent to jail for burglary. I was left with a broken heart and a raging addiction. Lost my job was getting evicted from my apartment, was losing my electricity. I looked in the mirror one day and I said, who is this person? I eventually got myself clean, got my life together, and have been able to get my life back. Addiction is part of my story. I used to say I hated being an addict. It's another one of my identities. I'm a gay, disabled, Catholic addict. My hope for the future of identity is that we grow, we become self-sustaining so that we can do a semi-structured season every year where we can afford to, you know, put on a full-scale production. And my dream is to eventually become bicoastal, 
is to have an identity out in LA um, that we'd be able to work with actors from both coasts, create this utopia where identity is known and, and respected and given the funds it needs to operate so it can fulfill its potential. Visible is the new way to think about phone service. Just 40 bucks a month all in for unlimited messages, minutes, and data at speeds of up to 5 megabits per second. All on Verizon's 4G LTE network. No hidden fees, no annual contracts. When you think the future of phone service, think Visible.